What's up, principles of food prep? It's gonna be awesome. Look at Chef Abbott. Got my pink, got my pink, and we're gonna have a great day today. It's gonna be awesome. Got some announcements, got some stuff going for you. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be great. All right, guys, who am I kidding? You know, I mean, just, you know, I'm just trying something a little bit different here. But you know what, at the end of the day, we know the truth. Yeah, I can drop the microphone now, okay, there we go. I mean, we're just gonna be how we usually are in class, okay? But I do have some housekeeping notes. I'm trying to make things a little bit interesting, you know, maybe I have to put my head on backwards, maybe something like that, you know? This is what happens when Chef Abbott's been quarantined and he can't really leave the house. I'm losing my mind. So who knows what's going to show up in these videos over the next couple of days, okay? That's all I got, but hey, just wanted to give y'all some rundowns for food prep. It's going to be awesome today. Got a couple things I want to go over that's going to lead into your assignment for this week, all right? So first off, number one, attendance, as I've gone over with you. Okay, here's the deal. Again, you have from 8 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., to check in. How do you check in? I prefer you to be on Teams and say, what's up, Chef Abbott? I'm here. I made it. I'm alive. I barely got here because I just rolled out of bed. It doesn't matter to me. I would prefer that. Now, as long as you're doing the assignments, at the end of the day, that's what I care about. All right. Um, so many of your um, projects, very, very happy with that. I'll get that to, to that in just a moment. But as far as attendance is concerned, I'd rather you check in, at least do the assignments. Just let me know that you're taking care of, because if I don't know, I can't keep up with you. And when I start slapping those zeros and start giving you the grades you deserve, y'all know me, I don't make it rain A's around here, okay? You got to do your part. If I'm doing mine, you got to do yours, okay? Get on it. Next, class assignments, all right? You got to do them. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way around them, okay? You're for, you've had two assignments so far, KFC and your project. You should have been in communication. Now, I get it. If one person was holding everything and they just sent it all to me, as long as they got your names on it, we're all good, okay? Now, remember, I made notes to myself who worked and who didn't. So, if you got a question about your grade, feel more than welcome to email me. Because I will have you, do I will have documented on days when I didn't see you doing anything and I saw other people working. So unless you can prove to me otherwise, I'm going to give you what you got coming to you. So get with somebody and make sure you know what the heck you're talking about, okay? Please do that, okay? Attendance and class assignment, all right? Please stay on it. Now, for this week's lesson, or at least today's assignment, you'll see another video like this. I'll be going over certain things, uh, but as I uh, stated the other day, I do want to get into my um, international class, okay? So, each lesson is going to be based on certain countries. I may group some together. I may do one. I may take some a couple weeks, all right? Um, but there's usually things that I want to make sure that I go over with you. Number, um, one of the biggest things is most countries eating habits have to do with one of three reasons. It's either economical, spiritual, or cultural. So you'll see me discuss that over these next couple of weeks and over these next couple of sessions as I teach about one of those three areas. So today what I've opted to do is I'm going to start with the United Kingdom, Ireland, and Scotland. Okay, so here we go. So the United Kingdom, one thing I really wanted to point out here was malt vinegar, malt vinegar. As you've probably ever been to a British pub or anything like that, or if you've been to a pub in general that served fish and chips, which is basically french fries, okay, usually you would see uh, malt vinegar, that, that, bleh, malt vinegar on the, the table or something like that. And the reason is, yes, Chef Abbott's fixing to use his cell phone. I know I didn't use it in class, but guess what? We're not in class, so on you, okay? So I'm going to use my cell phone because there was a point that I wanted to really make with this. Now, malt vinegar is made from barley, which is the same thing that beer is made out of. United Kingdom is well known for their beers, much like Germany and a lot of Eastern, um, Eastern Europe um, countries. They're very well known for their beer. So what they have done is after they've used certain barleys for certain beers, they had leftover barley and it came to 
malt vinegar. And considering the fact that most of their fish are beer battered fish, so that would be like instead of using flutter of uh, uh, flour with water to make your batter or your eggs, whatever case like that, they would actually use beer in their batter to fry up the fish. So now you have a beer consistency in your frying for your fish as well as your malt vinegar. Your barley and all that alcohol would be reduced down. You'd be left with the vinegar and gets that nice dark color. That's why it doesn't have a whitish color like regular vinegars. That's why it's got that dark, dark brownish color because it's made from a barley of beer, okay? So just some information about that that I wanted to leave with you as I find certain things, either certain things I want to go over with you. Now, over in Ireland with the Irish, Irish are very big on meat and potatoes. Now, when it comes to meat, you may be thinking to yourself like cow and stuff like that. Over in their country, it's more along the lines of um, lamb, goat, Things, things like that, okay? Farm, think, think about it like that. Now, when I say potatoes and you sit there and go, well, how can a whole country live on just potatoes? Mind you, in, let me read right here, in 1845, there was what they called the um, potato famine in Ireland. It was so bad that people, over a million people, starved to death over a span of seven years, from 1845 to 1852, all right? Over a million people, because they relied so heavy on their potato uh, crops out there, okay? So, meat, you could keep eating your goats and stuff like that, but think about it. If you have nothing to feed your livestock, if they fed on potatoes, carrots, whatever the case may be, a lot of root vegetables were dying out. So you have issues, which leads to meat not being able as uh, readily available, and potatoes were also very cheap. Remember, it costs money to own a goat, a cow, chickens, whatever the case may be. So if you're poor, you ate a lot of stews, you know, heavy uh, vegetables, your carrots, cabbages, and things like that. Well, if all of them are getting knocked out, and you have uh, potatoes left over, and there ain't no potatoes, it's gone, all right? So meat and potatoes are generally on a lot of their thing, in a lot of their dishes and some of that, as you're going to see as you do your assignment. And then finally, uh, Scotland or the Scottish people, I had to go with haggis. I mean, because haggis is just one of the most unusual things. Number one, it's not allowed here in the United States. You cannot have a true haggis, true haggis. Hold on. You may go to a Scottish place and they have haggis. Now, chances are if they have haggis, they have changed one thing. Generally, haggis is a bunch of minced meats. Basically, it's the whole goat. They use what they need, and then they take the heart, the cheeks, eyes, uh, liver, stomach, whatever the case may be, mince it all up, cook it up, and then they basically put it into like a sausage with the um the goat or the uh, not the goat well obviously it's goat um they would use either the goat's stomach to wrap all that meat up in or they would use a lung and wrap it up all in which is very illegal you don't want to do that okay not a good thing but i guess it's very popular because again it goes to a poor man's meal it's basically everything left over these three countries have economical food in common. They are taking leftover stuff and they're basically reusing it so that way nothing goes to waste. Much like we talked about in our business class. Remember, if something goes to waste, that's lost money. So what do you do? You figure out ways to use a little bit of everything. So in this situation, malt vinegar, you're using barley, stuff from beers and things like that that are left over. You now use it. Mean potatoes. Potatoes, very, very cheap because as long as the ground is fertile enough, you can grow it and things like that. Okay. Meat, very expensive. So you can only eat meat if you got it. And then finally, haggis, which is basically taking all the leftover meats of the goat and using it, okay? So these are the three areas you're going to see in focus. I'm going to have a list of questions. These questions I'll probably be using from day to day as I talk about different countries and you answering questions, okay? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send it into our teams, into our chat. Email me. There will be videos that I'll be asking you to watch, certain videos as we get to certain countries. I may ask you to watch. That means this video here will be shorter 
in Hotel, you will watch that other video, okay? Some of these may be a little lengthy. It's okay. We're going to get through it. But um, I just wanted to go over these three. Remember, class assignments, get on it. When I start typing those zeros in, into you, you ain't going to have any excuses. You need to get on and get the business, okay? Attendance, please make sure that you check with me. Make sure everything's good, okay? Reach out, and I'm going to try to make this as fun as possible. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, we will see you later. Hold on, I gotta bring my screen back. We will see you later. We want you. Yes, food prep. United Kingdom, England, Ireland, Scotland. Make sure you get on it. Make sure.